Welcome to Sharp Angles YouTube channel. I am going to show you how you can get rid of Wizcast virus. I am also going to tell at the end that how can you restore your web browser's default settings using simple one click. Before that I would like to request you to subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so. You can also find us at Facebook page by clicking here. Now, if your computer is infected by Wizcast virus, you may be seeing like this. You may be experiencing by the annoying, constant and relentless bombardment of ads on your web browsers similar to me as Internet Explorer. I have been successful in getting rid of this problem. So, I am going to share the steps with you in this video. This infection of web browser is caused by latest adware versions called Wizcaster. The solution is a combination of tricks. It's easy do not worry, I am going to guide you through this. Let me first demonstrate you that how can you locate the source of the problem. So that by removing from root we can cure the infection. Step 1 is to download this adware cleaner. This will scan and tell us the locations where Wizcaster and similar viruses have infected us. This way we are going to locate the problem. See, like this. This is what Wizcaster do. Pop up Internet Explorer after every 10 seconds. This is hugely annoying and uncomfortable. Let's fix this. Let's continue with the download. It's a freeware and specially made for adwares and pop like Wizcaster. Go ahead and download. Install it. I already have it. Here you can see. Open Adware Cleaner now. This Adware Cleaner is from Malware Bytes. Click on Scan now. Let me time lapse this and take you to the finish. It has found a total of 30 threats. See the infections in services. Infections in folder locations. There are infected files. Infected scheduled tasks. Infected registry as well. So it's clearly shown to us by this adware cleaner. Let's click clean now. This will clean these places. If somehow the locations are still not fully deleted. You can manually delete. Right them but Wizcaster is still working because it's still present one more place that's not been cleaned by adware cleaner so finally to fully get rid of the Wizcaster you will have to follow the next step I could not record it while removing but I am now demonstrating how I did that so adware removed the location and its registry but some of it was still present in system startup so as soon as you start the PC Wizcaster started its annoying job so to remove from startup, these two steps are the most important. First, suspend the program from system startup. Second, locate the unknown startup virus from system startup window and delete those folders manually. Until you do that this problem will not be over. For that open run command, you can press Windows plus R key together to open run command in any version of Windows. Type msconfig. Enter. Click on Startup tab. Here you locate unknown. Under Manufacturer tab. These are the infections. Untick them. So that they are removed from startup from the next restart. Step 1 is over. Now for step 2. Locate the virus location from here. Go to Explorer and delete that folder permanently. Like here, 9877 item location is in temp folder. Locate the folder and delete. Item ISUSPM location is in program data inside FlexNet folder. Locate and delete manually. Great it's already cleaned by adware cleaner. If you still find delete that. Job done. Now use adware removal tool to clean web browser and complete the process. I have been running adware removal tool by TSA in the background. After completion of the scan, do as demonstrated here. See here are browser reset options. This will restore the browser to its default settings. Reset Google Chrome. OK. 
click reset. Reset Internet Explorer. Yes reset. Job done. Whiskast Air is fully removed. My Internet Explorer is absolutely healthy and working fine. You can do the same if you have Mozilla or Edge browser as well. I hope this was helpful. Do check out my other similar videos for more clarity on adware removal including WinSnare and Kyubi virus. Thanks for watching. Please comment below if any suggestions. Please subscribe to the channel for similar videos.